Is Yahweh good? All the time. Glory be to Yahweh. Let's all remain standing in a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, we pray to your precious sons, your name, Yahshua the Messiah. We thank you for this day, Father Yahweh, that was not promised to us. We're here tonight to hear what you have to say to us, Father Yahweh. We just ask you to be uh, merciful unto us if we've been disobedient and been and then evil in your sight, Father Yahweh. We, look, ask, we ask you to look upon the saints that are sick and afflicted. Touch them. Heal them, Father Yahweh, through your Shiva's name. We ask you to look upon uh, Apostle Washington in Mexico, Father Yahweh. Be with him so that he, he can uh, also have a safe travel back when it's time. We ask you to look upon all, all, the, uh, all the other saints that are on their way tonight. And keep them safe on, the, on those dangerous roads. I pray to your precious son's name, Yahshua the Messiah. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read out of Philippians 2 and 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Amen? Amen. We should do that, saints. We should esteem those that are better. You know, we should, we should never be better than nobody. You know, well, that's why Yahweh, he's blessing this day for us so we can get this thing, thing done right. Yes, we need to be out, we need to be there out for those who need help. Amen. So let's keep our minds and let's keep our foot in the house of Yahweh. Let's hear, let's hear what he has to say tonight. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's all arise and remain standing. Receive Evangelist Davis by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Oh, uh, uh, let's bring forth Pastor uh, Dewar first. Amen. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh once again. You may all be seated. Thank Yahweh for another day in his house. Thank Yahweh for another breath of life. We know the next day is not promised to us. Amen. But through the grace and mercy of Yahweh, we're able to continue to wake up every single morning and go throughout our day. My prayer is that each and every one of us fight Satan at every front. We get the victory over him, and we allow Yahweh to reign in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But without further ado, saints, we fought, fought, we fought a fight today, and now it's time for us to hear what Yahweh has to say to us. Amen? Amen. It's time to hear the better part. To rest, to rest our weary souls and allow Yahweh to speak to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's give an earnest ear this, uh, earnest ear this evening. And let's hear what Yahweh has to say. Amen. Let's take it. Let's apply it to our lives. And let's be better than we have ever been before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we all know, the only way to get to heaven is continue to perfect ourselves. Amen. Continue to put away our own flesh and our own desires in this life. Amen. And to seek more of Yahweh. And to Amen. seek his truth. Hallelujah. For Satan was cast out of heaven because of sin. What makes us think that we're going to go back? Hallelujah. With any kind of sin on us. Amen. The only way we're going to know what that sin is, is to be told of it. Each and every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Amen. Now this place is of wisdom. Brought forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But without further ado, let's get into the word. Amen. Let's all rise. As we receive the first bishop, is going to bring forth the word this evening. Hallelujah. 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 Let us all rise and let us bring forth our beloved evangelist children. By saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh once again. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. You may be seated. We truly want to thank Yahweh for another opportunity to come to these gates. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Excuse me, a little bit under, under the weather. Yeah. We truly want to thank Yahweh for my health and strength for this day to, to rise up, to walk before Him. Yeah. Except for me for performing His eyes. Amen. Truly, I thank Yahweh for my beautiful wife and Amen. for something Yahweh has allowed me to have in these last few days. Yeah. Amen. We truly, I thank Yahweh that, for the Word of God that we do have. Because it's the word of God that keeps us. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds us what type of people we should be. Yes, Lord. Amen. But today I was really meditating upon Yahweh's goodness. Amen. See that we just came through in our 37th year anniversary. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. 
You know, we get happy about those things, yeah. of course, because, you know, it's all deserving to Yahweh. Yes. But at the same time, you know, your flesh is always kicking up. Amen. The flesh always wants to do what it wants to do. Amen. Amen. So I have to remind myself, even after the anniversary, even after, yes, that's there to continue to fight the good fight of faith. Yes, 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 yes. Because the flesh wants to get at ease. Yes. Yes. You know, we build up ourselves you know, up until the point of the anniversary we're on a high. Uh, yes, Some of us may have concentrated ourselves throughout the week. Yes. But as any anniversary that we've attended before, Amen. we know the saying is very real. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I have to remind myself that I do have an adversary out there. Yes, Lord. And say so he's trying to get the best of us. Yes. From the beginning, before we made it to the anniversary, mm -hmm. even afterwards. Yes. Satan is still attacking. Amen. Amen. So I woke up this morning and I made my mind up. So I'm going to serve Yahweh today. Yes. 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 Regardless of how the, f the flesh is feeling, yes. I'm going to yes. serve Yahweh. Amen. Yes. I'm going to do honor to the bishops tonight. Amen. Thank Yahweh for the opportunity to move before you. Thank you, Yahweh, for Apostle Washington to sacrifices for all of us. Yeah. Been watching him, you know, on the, uh, yeah. on the Mexico block, the Mexico Marco Polo. Yeah. Amen. Seeing the different cities that he's going through, baptizing many of believers out there. Yeah. Yeah. Ali, Hallelujah. the work is still going forward. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank Yahweh for that. Yeah. I thank Yahweh that the work is still going forward. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 We can look back in time past when we thought that the work was. Trying to cease, trying to die out. Right, Amen. But we see that the work is still persevering. Amen. Amen. Still moving forward. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we've been prepared for this work. Yeah. Right. For many years beforehand to now. Amen. We've always been prepared for the work. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 But it takes a made up mind to do this thing. Amen. It takes a made up mind to serve Yahweh. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So like I said, I had to remind myself today. Who do I want to be today? Right. Yeah. I'm thinking Yahweh that I have my mind made up to serve Yahweh. Yeah. For today, it didn't matter what I've done yesterday. Right. Yesterday's righteousness doesn't help me today. That's right. Amen. Amen. Last week's righteousness doesn't help me today. Yeah. I gotta wake up and serve this day as if it's a new day, and it is a new day. Yeah. Now I'm thinking on yesterday's righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of perform this will watch call today. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I also thank God for the Father that God has given unto me. Yeah. I was thinking about Him today. Amen. But I can't help to think about how God has been good to all of us. Amen. Amen. Because it's never about me. Amen. It's about what God was doing before all of us. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. 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 You know, we just lost a family member. Yeah. Amen. Um, yeah. You know, in everybody's family, you know, you do have those that are like seem like to be the most the one that people gravitate to, to the most. Amen. Which is something about their spirit. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And our cousin that we just lost, he was one of those that was that everybody got along with. Yes. Had a very open heart. Yes. Amen. Very a, a very kind hearted soul. Yes. And so, you know, when he passed away, you know, my mom was there of course for my family members. Yes. Even though I couldn't be there physically. But my mom was there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I still have to run this race. Regardless of what's happening all around me. Amen. My mind is made up to serve Yahweh. Amen. Yeah. And I know that through death, I'm still going to serve Yahweh. Right. Through life, I'm still going to serve Yahweh. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whatever situation that I'm found in, I must be serving Yahweh. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because what other alternative do I have? Right. Yahweh's all that I have. Yahweh's all that I've got. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whether you're there beside me or not. Amen. Whether my wife's there beside me or not. Amen. Whether my children choose to serve to, to follow me in this direction or not. Yeah. Amen. I still got to serve Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Because I'm not going to know them anyhow. Amen. Once I give up this flesh of mine, I'm not going to know them anyway. That's right. Amen. Amen. But my spirit's going to know whether I serve Yahweh or not. Amen. He's the one I, that I, I fear the most. Yes. Yes. This is the whole reason why I'm alive today is because of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. So I, I willingly lay down my life for Him. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And we almost have that same mindset, the same Amen. mind state. Amen. Amen. If you're going to follow the Messiah, 
All men must deny themselves. Amen. Take up his own cross Amen. and follow after. Hallelujah. 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 I can't be seeking to save my life. I can't. Amen. Because if I do so, I'm going to lose in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. I want to call your, your attention to the book of Jeremiah tonight. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 7. <coughs> you know, as, as I was in the scriptures today, I was reading about Solomon, King Solomon. And how he dedicated the house, the temple of Yahweh. And the way that he, the prayer that he lifted up to Yahweh, I was reading those words and it was very precious to me. Amen. It reminded me of what this house of Yahweh is all about. That this place has been sanctified. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all men to run unto. Right. Yes, for healing comes forth from this place. Amen. amen. Yeah. Salvation comes for, from this place. Yeah. Our help comes from the sanctuary. Yeah. That's what this place represents. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regardless of how Satan is trying to attack us, what does this place represent for us? Yeah. This is our strong tower. Yeah. And he's lasting in one day. Hallelujah. 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 So that's where my meditation has been at. Amen. i got to get more serious on this journey. Amen. Yeah. Because my flesh is against me at all turns. Amen. See, the flesh is all about serving sin. Amen. But my mind's all about serving Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So I have to have this heart has to be fixed for me to serve him faithfully. Amen. Amen. Meditate about you gotta be a faithful soldier to Yahweh. Yes. Amen. That's in every every turn in your life. You gotta be faithful to Yahweh. Amen. That's right. As a husband, I gotta be faithful. As a father, i got to be faithful. As a worker, I have to be faithful. Amen. As a brother, a sibling to my, to my brothers and my sisters, i got to be faithful. Amen. As a son, i got to be faithful. Amen. Everything that I do has to be found in a faithful stead. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And I think Yahweh, I can take on this knowledge because I've been taught of Yahweh's ways in this place. Amen. Amen. What does Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 1 say? Jeremiah 7 and 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from yes. Yahweh saying, Yes. Stand in the gate of Yahweh's house. Yes. And proclaim there this word. And we're out, we're found in the house of Yahweh right now. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 To profess this word here. Read it. Stand in the gate of Yahweh's house. Yes. And proclaim there this word. This word. And say. And say. Hear the word of Yahweh. Hear the word of Yahweh. All ye of Judah. Says we're here to hear the words of Yahweh tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what you came out to hear or what you came out to see. Yes, Lord. We're here to hear words that's commanded of Yahweh. Amen. And he's lasting you with days. Yes. Amen. On this 37th year anniversary. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We're here to hear words that's commanded of Yahweh. That's, right. that's never going to change. Amen. Every time you make it to the house of Yahweh, you're going to be commanded to do something. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's in our best interest to have an ear, an ear to hear yes, amen. what the Spirit said unto the churches. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Because the Word of God is going to go forth. Yes. And the Word of God is going to be delivered to your, to your ears. Yes. Amen. It's not coming back void. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's going to go forth. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to establish what Yahweh wants. Amen. Regardless of how we feel. Amen. Regardless amen. of the situation that you're fighting with. Yes. Amen. The word of God is going to go forth Amen. as it did in Jeremiah's days and all throughout all the prophets. Amen. All the way up to the apostles through Yeshua the Messiah's days, the word of God went forth. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Yahweh that today the word of God is going forth Thank you, Yahweh. in your very presence. Yes, Lord. Read on. Stand in the gate of Yahweh's house. Yes. And proclaim there this word. Yes. And say. And say. Hear the word of Yahweh. Hear the words of Yahweh. All ye of Judah. All ye of Judah. That enter into these gates to worship Yahweh. That enter into these gates. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That yes. enter into these gates. Yes. Got to hear what the word of God is saying. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're all fighting today. Amen. We're all, we're all faced with different diverse situations. Right. Amen. Amen. But the only solution to these situations in our life, mm -hmm. the only problem solving thing that you have is Yeshua. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's all that you have. Right. We all have problems. Yeah. Yeah. Now, every, every man that's born of a woman is going to have trouble. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Their, their days are full of trouble, as yes. the word says. Amen. But the only solution to your trouble is Yeshua. Yes. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. That's all that we have. Amen. Yeah. Read it. Thus says Yahweh of hosts. Thus says Yahweh of hosts. The God of Israel. Yes. Amend your ways. Amend your ways. And your doings. We got to continue to amend our ways. Yes, Lord. It's our ways that separates us from Yahweh. Yes, Amen. It's our ways yes. that sets us aside from Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elijah told, ah told Ahab, it's not me and my house that's troubling Israel, but it's you and your house. Amen. Don't you know that our ways can trouble one another? Yes, they can. Amen. Our ways can stop each other's growth. Amen. We get too close to one another. Amen. Find ourselves getting that ease in Zion. Right. Amen. Phyllis, de Phyllis, Phyllis developing the mind. Right. Amen. I like the way that sister talked to me in that tone of voice. Yeah. I was offended with that situation. Amen. Now all of a sudden now you find yourself walking around with a grudge. Right. Amen. Find yourself not forgiving one another. Amen. Because of... Uh, because of feelings, Amen. emotions get in the way. Amen. We have to amend those ways, those, those feelings about ourselves. Amen. The feelings that are contrary to what Yahweh wants us to have. Amen. Amen. Amend your ways. And your doings. And your doings. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. Yes, Lord. We can look back and see how many people have come and go. Amen. How many people walk through these doors with us or without us. Uh -huh. Or walk outside of these doors with or without us. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I was one of them. Oh yeah. Uh, one time I turned my back on Yahweh. Amen. Because of feelings and emotions. Right. Amen. Thinking that I can go back under my mom's wing and everything will be okay. Right. So I thought. Amen. But I was sadly mistaken. Uh, yeah. Went out there with my mom. Got worse off. <coughs> Couldn't hold a job. Right. Didn't care about working no more. Right. Amen. But I proclaimed I was going to go back to my mom to help her out. Right. But the truth of the fact, the fact of the matter was that I wasn't about that. No. Right. I was about serving my own pleasures. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Get back with my old running buddies. Yeah. Holly, Hallelujah. Go back to those same familiar areas that I once was a part of. Right. It was all about me, myself, and I. Amen. Amen. Holly, Anytime you leave from this place, it's always about yourself. Amen. It's not about what was preached in this place. Amen. It's all about what you want out of this. Right. You're tired of suffering, tired of giving in, Amen. tired of being a good old fella. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, don't want, you don't want to be that saint no more. Right. You want to be that devilish man or devilish woman. Right. You want to be just like everybody else. Amen. Even though this place offers you life, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you still see it as though it's offering life to you? Yes, Amen. Imagine there's a table up here. Mm -hmm. And on the table is life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But also on the other side of the table is death. Amen. So why do you say that, evangelist? Because if you offer what the Spirit's offering you, that's life. Yeah. Amen. But if you reject what the Spirit's offering you, that's death. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 That's the way we got to see that. we got to see it just like that. Hallelujah. See, my cousin, he was a yeah, he was a nice, nice. He can get all the about it. But at the same time, did he serve Yahweh? Amen. Amen. That's the question. Did he serve Yahweh? Amen. It didn't matter what my what my uncle was saying up there during the funeral. It doesn't matter. Amen. How did he live his life? Amen. Amen. Now, the mere fact that he's related to me, that's the only thing that produces emotions. Amen. But outside of him as an individual, did he serve Yahweh? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's my life. That's what I want to know about. Did you serve Yahweh? Amen. Amen. Was the Messiah crucified? Hallelujah. Amen. That's the only thing I'm concerned with. Amen. Outside of that, it doesn't matter. Amen. Because this is our life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Not to say I didn't care about him, because I did. I really did care for him. Amen. He was 38 years old. I'm 43. We're really close in age. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 But I'm all about trying to save my life. Yes, yes Lord. Amen. People are going to come and go. Yes. My father passed away. My aunt passed away. Yes. I was close to Elder Torres. Yes. I was close to uh, Elder Turner. Yes. I was close to Evangelist uh, Anderson. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But only, only they can answer for themselves Amen. on that day of judgment. Yes. Read it with them. Trust ye not in lying words, saying, Yes. The temple of Yahweh. Yes. The temple of Yahweh. Yes. The temple of Yahweh. So it doesn't matter if you're here in the house of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. How are you living your life? Amen. That's what you're going to answer to. How are you walking? How are you walking according to what's been taught in this place? 
Hallelujah. Amen. Are you growing in the knowledge of Yahshua and Messiah? Amen. Are you still holding on to your ways? Amen. That's the question for every man. Amen. Because you won't, you won't be able to remain here, dwell in this place, holding on to your own ways. Amen. I mean, it doesn't matter how close we are. You know, it doesn't matter how close you are to your brothers, your sisters, your mothers, and your fathers. The only way you can remain in this place here, you got to be abiding in the vine. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the only way you're going to be able to endure to be a good soldier. You have to be abiding in the vine. Amen. Yeah, unless you be cast away Amen. as a branch without fruit. Amen. Read on with them. Trust ye not in lying words saying. Trust ye not in lying words saying. The temple of Yahweh. Yes. The temple of Yahweh. Yes. The temple of Yahweh are these. Yes, sir. For if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings. If ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings. Just thoroughly. Thoroughly. That means all the way through. Amen. Get rid of those things, those deep things about yourself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get rid of those things that only you know about. Right. And Yahweh knows about. Amen. You got to get rid of those things. Amen. Amen. And he said, well, what is it? How, how does that work? You got to examine yourself. Amen. And once you examine yourself to the point, you don't want nothing to be wrong with you. Right. I'm talking about thoroughly. Amen. I mean, you're seeking hard and deep. Amen. For those areas that you should be overcoming, but you find yourself struggling with. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 I got to continue to work on myself so that I can be that, that the husband that my wife needs. Amen. That father that my children need. Amen. Amen. That bishop that y'all need. I got to continue to work on myself. I can't overlook myself. I haven't already attained. Hallelujah. And I'm always being, I'm, I'm always being tested. The only way you can find out if you're really working on yourself or you get victories in those areas that you're being tested in. Other than that, you just, you just fake it until you make it. I'm here to tell you, you're not going to make it. All you're doing is just faking yourself out. Seeking for an opportunity to walk outside of these doors here. Amen. The place that offers life to anybody that comes in here. To seek Yahweh's face. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I take my walk seriously. Yes, Amen. When I'm on the job, I, I make sure that I'm shining my light. Because I realize that they don't know the truth. No. So in order for them to know of the truth, i got to be a witness of the truth. Yes. How am I a witness of the truth? I'm shining a light. Walking differently right. according to how they're walking. There has to be a difference between me and them. There has to be. If I'm called into the, the knowledge of Yeshua Messiah, it's going to produce something different. My walk is not going to be like their walk. My mindset is not going to be like their mindset. Hallelujah. It's got to be different. I want it to be different. Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at my life. I said, Yahweh, I have failed you too many times on this journey. I need you to help me on this journey. Yes, help me to make it Yahweh. Yes, I don't want my father's sacrifices to be in vain on my behalf. Right. All the work that Apostle Washington has laid throughout his, his years living yes. and sacrifices to Yahweh, I don't want all the teaching that I received here to be in vain. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're all close. Yes, we are. We're all our family. All of us are familiar here. We're all family. But I want to make it. Amen. I've got to make it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If i got to cry at night, I will do that. Because I want to make it. Amen. Otherwise, being here is just all in vain. Amen. I can't afford that. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read on with them. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings. If you thoroughly <laughs> amend, your, amend ways. your ways and your doings. If you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor. Yes. If ye oppress not the stranger, yes, the fatherless, yes, and the widow, yes, and shed not innocent blood in this place. Otherwise, we've all been taught of Yahweh's ways. Amen. We know how to possess our vessel. Yes, right. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to harm my neighbor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be striving with, with my family here. Amen. That's the way Yahweh wants me to conduct myself. Amen. I need you on this journey. Amen. Amen. I believe I believe in you, Robert. Amen. I believe in you, Bobby. Amen. Jonathan, I believe in you. Amen. And everybody else in here, I believe in every single one of you. Because I know what's taught in this place. Amen. And I'm putting it to work in my very life. 
I'm here to tell you that this way works. Yes, it, does. it does. It does produce fruit. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It does. Amen. But if you're lacking in this journey, there's something you're not doing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read it with him. If ye oppress not the stranger, yes, the fatherless, the fatherless, and the widow, yes, and shed not innocent blood in this place, yes, neither walk after other gods to your hurt. Yes, sir. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place? Then will I cause you to dwell in this place? Oh, yes, Lord. Otherwise, we will walk. We walk in by the commandments of Yahweh. Amen. Yahweh will be with us yeah. as long as we're keeping His commandments. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because other than that, you're not going to be dwelling here very long. Yeah. Apostle Washington said before he left, he said that he feared that somebody was going to leave this place by the time he returns. Yeah. 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 He's coming back this week. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Like I said, doing a great work out there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But my prayer, the bishop's prayer, is that we're all being strengthened. Yes, yes, it was the 37th year anniversary. Yes, it, yes, it is. Uh -huh. But does, what does that mean to you? Amen. Amen. Are you looking at it and saying, well, you know what? I didn't do so well at the beginning of this year. But I thank God for his grace and his mercy. And I'm going to get my mind right. Uh -huh. I'm going to collect myself. Yeah. I'm going to gird up the loins of my mind. Yeah. I'm going to truly serve Yahweh with my whole heart. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to serve Yahweh. Yes. We've already tried to do everything that Satan has told us. Yes. It's left us without nothing. That's right. So why not give Yahweh a try? Yes. Give Yahweh a try. Yes. If, you don't, if you find yourself struggling on this journey, yes. amend your ways. Yes. Give yes. Yahweh's ways a try. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't make you no stronger. I can't do that. That's right. That's My brother can't make me no stronger, even though we go way back. I've been knowing him all his life. My older sister back there, she can't make me no stronger than what I am. Hallelujah. All we can do is work on ourselves. Y'all wants a willing sacrifice. A readiness, a readiness of mind. That's what he wants from us. Because if he made us do what he wants us to do, that wouldn't be love. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But thank Yahweh for the grace and the mercy. Thank you, Yahweh. Yes. That we can collect ourselves, get ourselves right with the Maker. Yes. Amen. Because I'm not going to strive against the Maker, yes. the scripture says. Woe unto that man that strive against his Maker. Amen. I got to always check myself all the time. Yes. Get past my feelings and emotions. Right. To make sure I'm loving my wife according to what's taught in this place. Yes. But the funny thing with feelings, they can go awry anytime. Amen. You could be having a simple conversation with your spouse. Simple. You could be kind of playing around. Uh, now, since she may get, you know, hit a little harder than she expected. Uh, All of a sudden, you go to the feelings. I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate what you just did. We were just playing. Yeah, but she didn't feel like you were playing with her when you hit her like that. Uh, Say something that you don't like. Yeah. The other day, my wife, we were talking in the bedroom. She said something. I immediately had to stop myself. <laughs> I didn't stop her. I had to immediately stop myself. <laughs> because I know that Satan is trying to find himself in places that he doesn't deserve to be in. Keep him underfoot where he belongs. Yeah. Hallelujah. In every aspect that we're faced with, we can get the victory in these all these areas. But we have to examine ourselves. Amen. Do you really hold salvation dear to you like you say you do? Amen. Read on, Willie. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place. In the land that I give to your fathers. Yes. Forever and ever. Yes. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Yes. Will ye steal? Yes. Murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and yes. burn incense unto Baal. Yes. And walk after other gods who ye, whom ye know not. See, otherwise, say, we know what's taught in this place. Amen. We know what, what this place stands for. Amen. It represents righteousness, yes. godliness, yes. holiness. Yes. These things are represented in the house of Yahweh. Yes. Well, many of us will find ourselves stealing. Yes. Is that about my father's house? No, it's not. Oh. As a child of God, should I be stealing? No. 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 Should I be committing adultery as a, as, as a married person? No. Should I be committing fornication as an unmarried person? No. So we know it's taught in this place. Yes. Should I be worshiping other idols out there? No. no. Other than Yahweh. No. Amen. no. Amen. So why is it found in the house of Yahweh? Amen. Why? Amen. 
How do we get to this point? Amen. What has happened to you on your journey? Amen. Who has hindered you Hallelujah. from obeying the truth? Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I ain't got to point nobody out. Amen. Ask yourself these questions. Yeah. Thank you. How's your walk? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you really getting the victory? Amen. This is what I ask myself on a day to day basis. Because I live in a wicked world. Uh, I go to places at work where there's ungodly men there. Amen. Trying to get other, other men to become like they are. Amen. You know, you got cohorts that try to uh, get you uh, get you under peer pressure. To become like them so they don't they don't become ashamed. Amen. Amen. You know, they're married people in my job too. But they're gawking at women as well yeah. as other men on the job. But when I'm there, I'm, I'm representing holiness. Yeah. Amen. I said, no, I don't walk according to like that. I'm not called to that call. Right. Right. I'm called with a holy call. Yeah. I see what, they're, see what they're doing. I go the opposite direction. Yeah. I see what I see what the conversation is leading to. Yeah. I said, that's not for me. And I go somewhere else. Yeah. Other than now, I'll go, I'll go get inside my truck. Yeah. Because I got to save my soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that important to me to save my soul? Yes, yeah. I don't get another soul. I don't get another opportunity right. to serve Yahweh. Once I die, that's it. There's no redos, there's no respawns anywhere else. I'm dead. Hallelujah. Once you, yeah, you get one one hope of your calling. That's all you get. Hallelujah. So we got to take this race seriously. Thank you for the 37th year anniversary. But what are you going to do now? Are you going to keep on pressing on? Yes, Keep building, building yourself on up. Hallelujah. Building yourself, building up your spiritual houses. Yeah. Are you gonna lay down? So, well, I, I gave it all for the anniversary. I left it all on the spiritual table out there, so I'm gonna just go ahead and relax here on out. I'm good. Yeah, this whole this whole week is gonna be my bye week. I ain't doing nothing. I'm gonna watch what I want to watch. I'm gonna binge watch everything that I missed out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the bottle. I'm gonna take it easy. Hallelujah. 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 You can't take that chance. Hallelujah. You got one hope. That's all you got. Hallelujah. 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 So while these things are rising in the body, it's obvious that we're not working on ourselves. The way that we truly should be working on ourselves. You know, Apostle Arthur was talking about wisdom. All of us should be very wise people in here. As children of God, we should be wise. Yes, Lord. If I know that I got a problem with drinking, Right. I'm going to stay away from those things in those areas that's going to cause me to want to do those things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know we all got to drive by a store sometime. I know that. You can't just drive and not drive by a store because you're on every corner. Amen. But wisdom Amen. will tell you not to go inside there and look at those areas where you're going to be tempted at the most. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Certain things on my phone. Amen. Certain things I can't do on my phone Amen. because I know what's going to tempt me. Amen. Yes, Lord. How do you say it? So we got to be wise in what we choose to do. Other than that, we're psyching ourselves out. Other than that, being here in the house of Yahweh serves us no purpose. Hallelujah. If we want, if we want to adhere to the word of God, you're adhering to something. Yes, Lord. That's right. Why do you think we program certain stations on our radio? To avoid those other stations that our flesh is tempted to want to listen to. There's a reason why we have government in the church. Yeah. It's for our safety. Yeah, yes, it is. Hallelujah. So I understand why you sit back and you question the safety that's given in the house of Yahweh. Right. It's for your protection. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's there to save you from yourself. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, it is. But if we don't go away and we don't work on ourselves, then we'll always sit back and we'll just judge whatever the house, whatever Yahweh's house is uplifting in our life. Yeah. Amen. I don't understand why they made that judgment. Yeah, but you're not looking at the souls of the people. Amen. You're just looking at yourself. Amen. I don't understand. Hallelujah. I don't understand why we're gonna wear certain clothes, certain clothes. You're just looking at yourself. Hallelujah. Yeah, how come they can do that and I can't? Amen. You're just looking at yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. What about the other believers that's here that's, that's struggling in certain areas? But you're not taking that into consideration. Amen. You gotta weigh out all options. Yes. We're trying to save everybody here. Yes, Lord. We're making a, a, a general statement, and we're making a we're making a claim for everybody to be safe. Amen. 
certain judgment we make in the house of Yahweh is for everybody to be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now, I thank Yahweh for, for the, the government that's found in the church in the house of Yahweh. Amen. Because throughout the years, there was times where I questioned why certain things was was uh, certain things was established in the house of Yahweh. Amen. Hallelujah. And I didn't understand why. But once I stopped questioning the judgment, I started to apply a little faith to what was being uh, upheld in the house of Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. Then I took away uh, experience and understanding yeah. what was already being established. Yeah. Read on, will it? Jeremiah 7 and 10. Yes. And come and stand before me in this house. Yes. Which is called by my name. Which is called by my name. And say. And say. We are delivered to do all these abominations. We are delivered to do all these abominations? Amen. No, Lord. We are not delivered to do all these abominations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a child of God, you can't do whatever you want to do. Amen. You can't. Amen. There's government in the house of Yahweh. Yes, Lord. There's commandments that we must abide by. Yes, Lord. I know it's the 37th year anniversary. I know that. Amen. But the word of God doesn't go forth for nothing. Amen. The word still is still being preached. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 We still need the word. Yes, yes Lord. We still need Yeshua. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. The song that uh, Apostle Early sang a long, long time ago, talking about he's in the saving business. Uh -huh. He's saving us. Amen. Because our flesh is too simple. The flesh wants everything. Amen. It doesn't reject anything. It wants, it wants it all. Amen. What you got over there? You got, you got that? Okay, I want that too. Wow. It gets greedy. Yeah. Amen. More and more things that it wants to acquire on this journey. That's right. Regardless of salvation, forget about that. I don't, I don't care about salvation according to the flesh. Yeah, selfishness, all you want is what you want. Amen. You don't care if anybody else gets the same thing because you want what you want. That's right. Hallelujah, saints. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Like I started Solomon, that prayer was for everybody that, that attended the temple. Yeah. It was for all men, even the strangers that came from afar. Hallelujah. He prayed for all of them. Amen. If they would just come out to the house of Yahweh and call upon the name of Yahweh, Amen. then he would hear from heaven. Amen. Many yes. of us refuse to pray because we know how we're walking. Amen. Because we've all been taught how to possess our own vessels. Amen. All of us know how to do that. Amen. The Word of God says that they all should be taught of Yahweh. Amen. When we come to the house of Yahweh, the first thing that we hear is about Yahweh's ways. Uh -huh. His commandments. Yeah. What He accepts from us. Right. And what He expects from us. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. But we can't be found in this fashion here. No, serving other gods. Amen. Committing adultery. No, Lord. Thinking that Yahweh doesn't see all these things. Right. Hallelujah. 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 Thinking you can steal on the side. You can't steal on the side. You can't steal at all. That's right. You know why? Because you're a child of God. Amen. You've been purchased and bought with a price. Right. Hallelujah. 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 Like I said, you only got one chance at this. Yeah. One hope of your calling. That's all you had. My cousin Lily is no longer here. Amen. He had his one chance. Amen. The grace ran out on him. 38 years. Amen. I don't remember him coming to the house of Yahweh one time. Amen. I don't remember. Amen. Right. Amen. But there is a point in time for all of us Amen. when we all must appear before the throne of God. Amen. And we all must give an account of what we've done in this body. Amen. Whether it's good or whether it's evil. Amen. We all must give an account of these things. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's still a joyous occasion. Hallelujah. Amen. It really is. Yahweh is still saving us. Because of these words here, it caused me to change my life. Amen. Other than that, I wouldn't change. Right. Because it, to me, it seems like oh, you just read words is all it is. Uh -huh. That's not the case. These words here are not just words. Amen. This is life. Amen. When I come through these doors here, I got to remind myself, I got to humble myself. Yeah. Because if not, I'm going to psych myself out. Amen. I'm doing all that I can do. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be telling myself the whole time I'm here. Yes. I tried that out already. Amen. That's what led me to leave outside of these place, this place here. Yes. Read on, Willie. Is this house, which is called by my name, <clears throat> become a den of robbers in your eyes? Amen. Behold, yes. even I seen it, said Yahweh. See, that's the question. What does this place mean to you today? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Is it still Yahweh's house? Oh, yeah. Or is this a place you come out here to, where well, they're always getting on me? Right. Yeah. No, we're not. Okay, we don't take out personal messages here. No. 
row. We don't. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was in the front row right there where my brother's sitting at, I thought that my dad was taking out a message on me. <laughs> he was just telling the truth. He was telling the truth about me whether I wanted to admit it or not. It was my conscience that was telling me, look, he's just preaching on you. No. Yahweh was against my ways. I was sitting right there and I wasn't amending my ways. I wasn't thoroughly amending my ways and my doings. I had my own mind. It was it was it was carnal. And I think Yahweh that my father did not change. Matter of fact, he gone to all of us. That's why he's called the Texas Hammer. At the time I was offended, but now I'm thankful. It's funny how a time how you know, you mature within a certain time, you're starting to get older. And your mind changes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, my mind has changed from that old man that I used to be. Yes. I see this race more serious than what I once took it as. Yes. See, at first, I was like, well, I'm, just, I'm here with my dad. I'm, I'm having a good time. I know other people that I know. And, you know, my other family members are here. And I'm happy. It was more to it. That, was, that wasn't the reason why I was here. Amen. That's not the reason why my father took me in. I could have done that anywhere else. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I think Yahweh that I, I decided to plant my feet here. Yes. To hear Yahweh's words yes. for myself. Yes. And to grow and nurture in the knowledge of Yeshua Messiah. Right. Real willing. But go ye now into my place. Yes. Which was in Shiloh. Yes. Where I set my name at the first. Read on. And see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel. Yes. And now. Yes. Because ye have done all these works, yes. saith Yahweh. Yes. And I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking. Yes. But ye heard not. But you heard not. And I called you. It says, but, but you heard not. Amen. That's Amen. what it says. We come out to the house of Yahweh, and Yahweh's words are going forth. Amen. But you some of us not. can leave as, as though we didn't hear anything. Amen. He said, why, why can't you say that, evangelist? Because of what the phone calls that we receive. Amen. The conduct that we see. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I still see this place as a joyous place. Amen. This place here offers life. Amen. Life that I couldn't find nowhere else in my life. Amen. Believe me, I search. I went to church to church. I church top all the time. And the end result of that was I got worse. Because I felt like I felt like everybody, every church was the same. Everybody wanted to tell me what I want to hear. They want me to pay, pay the preacher and all that kind of stuff. I said, I'm not, I'm not receiving anything. I felt like I was wasting my time. In all reality, I was wasting my time. Because they wasn't preaching against my sins. They weren't showing me myself. They they didn't show me how to serve Yahweh. They didn't. They did not show me one time how to serve Yahweh. But my experience, my first step in this place, the first day showed me my sins. And it showed me how how sinful my sins were. Hallelujah. Didn't psych me out. Didn't try to sugarcoat anything. Oh, no. Put it all on the table. Amen. There was blood to the right, blood to the left. <laughs> blood behind me, blood before me. Oh, A slaughterhouse for the flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. It manifested my sins. Yes. Amen. All I can say, just like Jacob, the Lord was in this place uh -huh. and I knew it not. Yes, Lord. How many people drop out of this place? And don't really acknowledge what this place is all about. Amen. Yeah. The words go, go across on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. I had people on my job. They said, uh, what is y'all's church? Uh, how can I reach the church on YouTube? I got this phone. And I put, put in uh, the Bible of Truth. And it popped right up. Yeah. Amen. So that might be another individual. Because he said he likes to visit churches. Amen. Come visit our church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to be ashamed of the gospel. Amen. I, want to, I want to share this abroad. Now, whether they choose to believe it or not, that's on them. Amen. But I've done my part. Amen. I'm going to continue to do my part. Amen. Because I've been called here unto a holy calling. Hallelujah. Yahweh has chosen all of us to serve Him faithfully. Yes. So what are, we, what are we going to do? Are we going to serve Him faithfully? Yes. Or are we going to turn our back to Yahweh like I did when I said, like I expressed before? I turned my back to Yahweh. Amen. Not knowing that He was the one that was giving me life. Yes. Giving me peace. Amen. He had blessings for me that I didn't even know that he had for me. Because I didn't know how my life was going to turn out. I was, a, I was a young individual, a young man, who liked to go out and party a lot. Whether these parties got plastered. 
And while I'm in these people's houses, I'm in there destroy, destroying things. Headbutting, you know, cabinets and all that kind of stuff. We like to wrestle. We like to wrestle wherever we went. Wrestled at the bowling alley. Anywhere. My, my mom's house got dents on the side. Not this house she has now, but other houses she had before. Me and my friend put dents on the side of the house. You know, body splash in the house. Eventually, that was going to lead me to a, a horrible place. Hallelujah. Because when I got drunk, I became a different person. I wanted to fight everybody. It caused me to get enraged. Hallelujah. Try to take uh, women's husbands and all that kind of stuff. What you see today is a man that's sober-minded. But under that influence of alcohol, became something different. So this place has saved my life. Hallelujah. It saved all of us. It saved all of us from ourselves. You know how bad you were without Yahweh? I said, I wanted to. I didn't do it, but I wanted to. Oh, so women's husbands? Yeah, I meant the husbands' wives. I meant the husbands. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Thank you for correcting me, because that's not what I want to establish. Hey, we don't, we don't cheat, we don't lie. Thank you, thank you. I wonder why everybody's eyebrows went up like... <laughs> it wasn't that kind of life, okay? Was, not for this person here, it wasn't that kind of life. But in a sense, it does still stand true. I became something different that I'm not, I'm not normally that way. The alcohol will bring out the worst in you. It will. I'm speaking from my own experience. Waking up in places you don't realize how you got there. Being with people you don't realize you were with. Hallelujah. And it's already too late because you already performed the deed. But see, well, Yahweh brought forth salvation to us all. You know, all of us were really messed up people. We wouldn't get along with one another. But in the love of Yeshua Messiah, we can get along. Yes, my God. Hallelujah. I can love Evangelist Davis. I can love Apostle Stanford. I can love my brother-in-law, Prophet Washington. And I can love all of you in the love of Yahshua Messiah. There is no, there's no color difference here. We're all the same. Like I said before, my grandparents, they were racist, they were racist until I was born. And when I was born, they changed their mindset. Now, I still got racist people in my family, as you all do. I got a cousin that won't even claim me to be a cousin because I'm, I'm, I'm darker than she is. I'm a mom's son. Holly, when I was in school, I'd come across her, I'm like, hey, uh, hey, I call her, hey, cousin, how you doing? She's like, no, you're no cousin of mine. And she walked away. And we're family. Hallelujah. But it's that mindset, those barriers in our life, those walls of partition in our life, that the Messiah came to do away with all of that. Hallelujah. When I grew up, I was around a different diversity of people. I had my, my dad's side, their cousins on that side, my mom's side, cousins on that side, and I, and I found myself immersed in Hispanic people. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was friends with everybody. Amen. So being here found the house of Yahweh, I can use that gift yes, and use it to the ability to save some. Yes. That some might be saved. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to use it. Hallelujah. Amen. Yahweh's given us all abilities in this place. Yes. He's given us diverse gifts. Amen. Given helps in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it's us that separates ourselves from Yahweh. Amen. Over here in Jeremiah, he's talking about these things. We don't want Jeremiah 7, 13. Yes. And now because he have done all these works, yes. says Yahweh, said Yahweh, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not. And I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore I would do unto this house, which is called by my name. Yes. Wherein ye trust. Yes. And unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers. Yes. As I have done in Shiloh. And see, we don't want this to happen to us. We want Yahweh to receive us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we're taught of the Messiah's ways. All of us have a chance of salvation. Amen. That's the way I see it. I got a chance of salvation. Amen. Not all men get that same chance. Amen. Yes, the Messiah died for us all. Don't get me wrong. The Messiah dies for all of us. Amen. But he made, a way, he, made, he made an acceptable way for man to be saved. Amen. Now they have to make up in their own mind to want to be saved. Amen. You see, the salvation has already been offered. 
Yeah. But now everybody's going to offer, now everybody's going to take upon that offering. Right. Let's go to uh, Second Chronicles. It's in Chronicles 7. And like I said, this is our 37th year anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So even after all this build up to get to the anniversary, like any other anniversary, you know, we, we're, we're funny people sometimes. Amen. We'll work hard and we'll, we'll, we'll dive our, you know, we'll pretty much work our, our fingers to the bone yes, to get things produced at that time. But then afterward, it's like we kind of die out. Like we kind of go in reverse mode. Yeah. Get at ease in Zion. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yahweh doesn't want that from us. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. Yes. It is written. Yes. If my people. If which, my people. Which are called by my name. Which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. Shall do what? Humble wow. themselves. Yeah. Shall humble themselves. Amen. It says, if my people, uh -huh. which, which are, are called, called by, by my, my name, name, shall humble themselves. If they shall humble themselves. Yes, Lord. Yes. And pray. And pray. And seek my faith. Says we got to start praying again. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. When I'm looking at it, I'm looking at people not praying. Amen. We've got to start praying. we got to start Amen. praying. Paul's going on his way back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. we got to start praying. Not to say that that's the reason why we should be doing that. But Apostle is coming back. We all knew this ahead of time. So why it's called today, we should start praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Start fasting. Hallelujah. Let's get our minds right. Yes, like I said, Satan's going to use his anniversary and use it against us. Yeah. And well, we've done all we could. You know, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it on the table back. You know, uh, Sunday was the last day. That's it. I'm done. Until the next anniversary. Who said you're going to make it to the next anniversary? Who said you're going to see tomorrow? Let's be real. Hallelujah. I just said that we just buried my cousin. Grace ran out on him. Who said you're not going to be next? Doing the anniversary just like sinners would do Easter. Exactly. We're serving Yahweh just like the sinners serve their God. Amen. They do the same way. They do Christmas the same way. Easter the same way. Right. Build up all that good talk and all that to that day. You know how they do on Christmas time? Oh, I'm a, I'm a cheerful giver. Oh, here you go. I'm going to help the homeless. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Tomorrow I'm going to turn it back on everybody. Right. We're going to talk about everybody off the job. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. We're not like them. We don't serve our God the way they serve their gods. Hallelujah. Yahweh doesn't want that. Read on. If my people, if my people, which are called by my name, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves, and pray, and pray, and seek my face. That's what we got to do, saints. Amen. We've got Amen. to seek His face. Yes. Seek His face. David said, "Of your face, I will seek." Yes, Lord. Yes. I will seek. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to say, we have to say the same thing. I will seek Your face, Yahweh. Amen. Regardless of what happened yesterday. That's how I felt before I walked through this door. I got to seek your face. Yes, I don't care what you did outside of this door. I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care if you walked right last week for the anniversary. I don't care about all those things. Today is today. Today is the day. Yesterday's righteousness is not going to help you today. Today is the day to seek your God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Let us seek Yahweh's faith. And turn from our wicked ways. And turn from our wicked ways. Yes, Lord. Many of us have not turned from our wicked ways. That's why we get these evil reports time and time again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not seeking Yahweh's face. You're not praying to Yahweh. Amen. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Since we've got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Don't you realize that? Nobody else can save you. Nobody has to throw you a lifesaver out there. Nobody can do that. Amen. You got to learn to swim and save yourself from this untoward generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody can save me. My father couldn't save me. My wife can't save me today. My brother-in-law, he can't save me. My closest friend, he can't save me. My nephews can't save me. My niece says they can't save me. My brother can't save me. My older sister, she can't save me. My older brother, he can't save me. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. My closest friend, Teacher Bacon back there, he cannot save me. That's right. Lee, as tall as you are, you cannot save me. You can try all you want to. There's a great gulf fix. You can't save me. 
I got to save myself. Amen. Read on, Willie. Read on. If my people, if my people, which are called by my name, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, yes, and pray, and pray, and seek my face, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, yes, then will I hear from heaven. Then will he hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and forgive their sins, and will heal their land. You see, don't we all want healing? Amen. We need healing. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of us are sick. Yeah. Many of us are sick and afflicted. Hallelujah. But we refuse to do the things that's required for us to get healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, many, many, not saying all of us, but many of us will acknowledge that our, many of our ways are wicked. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Spirit says one thing, then you leave from this place and go do something completely opposite, Hallelujah. which doesn't make sense. Right. Hallelujah. 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 But see, I need healing. Amen. I'm in the house of Yahweh for healing. Yes, Lord. This place has been set up in these last three days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has been sanctified for all men to run into the strong tower. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But while we're here, yes, Lord. We gotta adhere to something. Come on. We gotta adhere to the commandments of Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Through the strength that's found through Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We've got to thoroughly amend our ways all Hallelujah. the way through. Hallelujah. Even those deep, deep, deep things about yourself. Hallelujah. Thoroughly about yourself. Hallelujah. Yes, Yahweh. We've got to get rid of these things that's, that's hindering our journey. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Then we all can be healed. Amen. Yahweh Hallelujah. will heal from heaven. Amen. That's what I want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's my time. I thank Yahweh. Amen. For the opportunity to be before you. It's been an honor to speak to you all. Saints, let's go away and let's become better people. Amen. This is our 37th year anniversary. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, Hallelujah. it was, but I'm talking about throughout the year. It's still it's still us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Saints, keep the children's household of prayer as we get ready to read for our next bishop. Let us all stand. <laughs> Let's bring forth our beloved prophet Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Amen. Amen. We all can be seated. Amen. Amen. Truly thank Yahweh for the words that came forth through Evangelist Childers this night. Hallelujah. Even though me and my family, we came in on the end of it, we had to go save my sister out there. Praise Yahweh. Battery went dead on the car, and so we had to make our way over there to basically the Pantigo and, and uh, give her a jump. Yeah. Amen. But truly, I thank Yahweh for being here this day. Um, thank Yahweh for the opportunity that he has given unto me. And not just unto me, but unto us all to be able to wake up and give our life unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. If, if there was a day that you wasn't had your heart made up, your mind made up, the day the Lord bless us with today Amen. should have been your your uh, your your reason to get right. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's not his will that any man should perish. And so seeing that the days are evil and all of that, saints, it's very important that we run this race accordingly to his will. Amen. We know that the Lord is going to return one day and he's coming back to a church without spot, blemish, or wrinkle. Right. Amen. And you want to find yourself in his words. So that he can say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And enter into the joy of the Lord. Yes. And I truly thank Yahweh uh, for those that are part of Spirit Driven. I truly thank Yahweh for Pastor Riddle and his lovely wife, Justine. Amen. I truly thank Yahweh for Sister Arlene and ask the saints to pray for her. She's not feeling all that well. Amen. Thank Yahweh for Sister Selena and Amen. Deacon Holloway. Amen. And if I left out anybody, I had so many people come and go. Sister Michelle, hallelujah. My bad, he ain't here. But he will be back soon. But I truly thank Yahweh for all of those that are part of this business. And ask Yahweh to continue to you know, bless the business and bless you with it here. But I truly want to say, I just I was, had an opportunity, and, and as we all should, especially on these Tuesdays and Thursdays, how we all come on together as one accord and Amen. Give ourselves over to fasting and prayer, yes. meditating. Amen. And I just began to just commune with the Lord while I was in the truck. Yes, and I truly just began to thank Yahweh for what he's done in my life. Yes. Amen. You know, being born and raised in this way, 
that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to stay in the way. You know, my mother and my father, and I truly thank Yahweh for them. Truly thank Yahweh for my father. Amen. And the life that they have lived over the years. And I know it hasn't been easy. Satan, he deal with them just like he deal with us all. That's right. But I truly thank Yahweh for their sacrifices. Amen. And while I was in the truck today, begin to shed tears. Because I remember the words that my father shared with me a long time ago. You know, he would sit down with his children and he would implement the ways of the Messiah in our lives. Amen. And when you're young like that, you know, you, you can kind of just lick it up in a sense. Because you're still being shaped, you're still being molded, right? The world really haven't got a good hold of you just yet. So what my mother and what father established, that's, that's word. <laughs> Everybody all experienced water boy, huh? My, 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 my mama said. <laughs> that's what he said, right? It was a mama's boy. Something that mama put in him when he was very young. Uh, and he stood on it. If you say anything different than what mama said, you're going to get tackled. <laughs> exactly. And so when you look at your children, and I'm just thinking, I'm just reflecting. Yes. Hallelujah. And I was looking at me through my mother and through my father's eyes. How they looked at the children and hope. Amen. And, and pray. And dedicate their lives. Knowing that eventually the children are going to have to grow up. Hallelujah. Yeah, and it made their heart rejoice. Put a smile on their face when they seen us out there in the days of level land. We all just marching down there. I forgot the name of the song that Mother Anthony wrote for us. My little brother was stretch out, stretch your hands out to your shoe. Stretch out. And we were just moving with so much conviction at the time. Just being young. Innocent. Hallelujah. Only doing that which was instructed of us. Mother and father, they showed us no, no different. They didn't implement the world in our lives. Uh, they was, that's exactly what they were doing, Apostle Stanford. They were training their children up in the way that they should go. Hallelujah. So we lifted up a standard being so young. In the car, my father would say, my dad, he would say, I would say, ooh, that go a big false church. Ooh, look at that. That's a big false church. Mm -hmm. That was that teaching. Yes. Father, mother. Mm -hmm. I want the parents to really listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Amen. I want the parents to really listen. Amen. Really, really listen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what my mother and my father did. Yes, sir. They took the time out to implement the ways of the Lord in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. But then we know that time and chance happened to us all. Yes, Amen. Same children that they raised up. The oldest, me. Um, the middle child, my sister. The youngest of us three. My brother. Began to get older. Hallelujah. Hmm? Hence, we are born into sin and shaped by iniquity. Even though the spirit was shaping, the world also was beginning to shape. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next thing you know, pride began to implement itself in my life. I began to see things differently based off the teaching that my father and my mother had implemented. The world got my attention. We all been there. Absolutely. Um, some of us are still there. That's um, true. Whether you're strong or not, the world still has a, an influence on you. It still does. That's why the Bible says you have to walk circumspectly. You got to be careful. Not as fools, but as wise. Seeing that the days are evil. Yes. Hence, you have to redeem the time because if you're not careful, that's that, that same influence. Is still out there. Yeah. Hallelujah. And they say he still desired to sift you. He still desired to sift you. He still desired, desired to sift you. He still desired to sift you. He still desired to sift me. As we. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes. So, but I was just thinking, and my father, he said, Bethany's son, you're going to have to grow up, and you're going to have to learn to fight Satan yourself. Yes, Lord. Amen. And I heard him. Hallelujah. And when he shared this with me, he shared it with me at an age where I can start, I, I begin to comprehend things. What I mean by that is that you begin to just think for yourself. There's nothing more mother and father can do. We laid our life down. Many nights we stayed up, prayed, fasted, cried. I got in the world with you, son. I show you how to do this thing, but now you got to make up your own mind. Hallelujah. Well, now you're going to serve the Lord. And so I was, I was thinking, and I began to shed tears. Because I saw how all this unfolded. And that, would, that the words that Yahweh given unto my father, amen, how it made manifest in my life. And saints, we have to really find ourselves being thankful for being in this place here. And when you're truly thankful in 37 years, it really means something to you. Amen. It, re it really, 37 years, it really means something to you. And that's just if you're true, if you're sincere. You know, when I spoke to my father about the state of the anniversary, you know, we all, we all felt it. You, we all felt it. Said that, you know, that we can't make people do anything. Said the saints' heart is not in, their heart is not in. Say if you have four son, you just gotta have praise service yeah. on it that Saturday. You know, yeah. Have praise service that Sunday. And yeah. Go on, preach the word. That's what you gotta do. Right. Yeah. He said, because I know that the hearts of the saints is not in it like it should be. Amen. They're truly not thankful. Amen. Right. Whether well, however long you've been here. Right. Right. However long you've been here, you're truly not thankful yeah. the way that you should be. Amen. Amen. And so while he shared this with me, and this is this is a few days before the anniversary, I shall maybe say a week before the anniversary commenced, started. And so I was just reflecting on that, and it brought me to think about my my shortcomings and how merciful Yahweh has truly been unto me. Amen. And how he never did give up on me. Hallelujah, huh? And so even, even in your weak states, yeah. some of us, you feel weak right now. Right. Uh, some of y'all was contemplating about backsliding. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But yet there's something that you heard yeah. that kept you grounded. Yeah. Hallelujah, huh? Something that you heard that 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 caused you to rethink this thing, and 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 I begin to shed tears today, um, because I thought about when I when I did what I did, Amen, and went on to prison, how Yahweh didn't give up on me. Hallelujah. How the Lord did not give up on me, and, and I saw him. I saw, and when I reflect now, see, I didn't know back then. I didn't know back then, but when I look at it, when I see it now, I reflect yes. on how he was moving in my life. Yes. Yes. During the time I didn't understand. I'm going to get in the word. The time I didn't understand, um, and I, while I was in there, and I had animosity, I had a whole bunch of feelings and emotions. I wanted to be mad at God. I wanted to be mad at my mother and father. I wanted to be mad at some of you. Uh, but it was my own state that put me there, right? But even in there, you always still made a way of escape for me. And when I when I when I reflect on it, I see how he was navigating, how the spirit was moving. I think about my cousin and my brother, how the spirit separated me from them in there. See, your heart have to be right, even in your weakest state. Even though I messed up, see, if your heart ain't right, your heart ain't fixed. To serve the Lord, yeah. the Spirit can't do nothing for you. Yeah. But even in that time there, I saw how the Spirit was, was separating. Yeah. I didn't, uh, 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 so I say, at the time I didn't understand. But when I look back yeah. and see how the Spirit operated, 
I said it brought me to tears. Yes, Lord. I would cry. They'd get the visitation. They wouldn't call me. <laughs> I go get sentenced by myself. <laughs> Those two, they'll go get sentenced together. Yahweh separated me. But he had to. And I, and I began to see that's why it's very important that you read the scriptures. Hallelujah. And you understand what Yahweh is trying to do. You want, if you want to know why you were here, because you've chosen to be yeah. here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let Satan tell you anything different. Don't let Satan tell you anything different. Huh? Peter said that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Amen. Hallelujah. And Satan trying to mess everything up so that you won't do exactly what Peter said. Right, right. That we should go forth and show the praises of the most high God yeah. who brought you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Yeah. That's what he did. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. So but I begin to think about Abraham. Right. Hallelujah, huh? Yeah. He told Abraham, I want you to get from your separate. Yeah. Get from your kinsmen. Come on out the country here. Hallelujah. I'm going to take you into a land that I shall show you. Yes. During that time, I didn't know that a day would come that I'll become an evangelist. Amen. Then afterwards, I'll become a prophet. Yes. Yahweh had to bring me real low. Yes. Had to bring me real low to shake my foundation. Yes, yes Yahweh. Yes. Amen. Yes. But so I was sure seeing these tears. And all I kept doing was just looking at my mother and my father. Yes. Yes. I can't thank them enough. Yes. I can't thank them enough. Yes. And what they're doing, they're still doing. So parents. Yes. Parents. Yes. Parents, come on now. Lay your life down for your family. Stand up and do the right thing. Ephesians 6 and 1. Yes. We'll start there. Ephesians 6 and 1. Uh -huh. Children. Children. Obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. In the Lord. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. I know sometimes it's hard for some children to do that. My parents, my mother, my father, they never gave me any reason. Never gave my sister any reason. Even to this day, my brother's not in the faith here. John Jr., he's not in the faith here. But I guarantee you this much, that if those two were here, they both can testify that their parents never did give them any reason. Any reason, hallelujah, to not do what this Lord is calling them to do. Amen. So children, obey your parents. This is what you're gonna have to do, children. Amen. Amen. You wanna you wanna have a long life. Amen. You wanna see the Lord in peace. Amen. It's very important that you obey your parents. In the Lord. And it said, not just obey them, but obey them in the Lord. Uh -huh. Because you might just have a mother, you might just have a father that's not standing on righteousness. Amen. That's not emitting the ways of Yahshua. Hallelujah. Despite what they may say. Amen. Despite what they may do. Hallelujah. Therefore, with that being said, you have the right to not honor them. That's right. If it opposes the righteous ways of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. You always wanted to buck up to them. Now's the time. Exactly. <laughs> I know that's right. Now's the time. I wasn't bold enough to do nothing crazy. I'm going to do something. I remember that one day I hurt my leg playing outside. Over on Southwest Third Street. One supposed to have been over there doing nothing. I want to show out because the Wanda there. <laughs> oh, the sister of the church I had a crush on. The Wanda there. Hey Amen. So I jump on. I believe I, uh, somebody back and we fell down and that pole that was outside on the side of Southwest Third Street. Hmm? Punctured a hole in my shin. Jump on Corey's back. Look at this. He know. I go inside limping. Pull my pants up. Roll my pants up. Big old hole in my bed right here. Bleeding. 
So my father, he said something. My mama said something. I'm in the back seat. <laughs> my dad said, boy, you know, I saw you, right? If you wasn't in pain, I beat you. <laughs> well, I had to go to the hospital and get concerned. <laughs> well, in other words, I wasn't going to never buck up to them. Hallelujah. Huh? And they famous. <laughs> oh, they're always watching them. They ain't that funny. <laughs> but yeah, parents are always watching. We're looking at that rear view. Uh, but if your mother and your father is not lifting up a standard, Amen. not lifting up a standard. Yes. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. You have the right to, to, to actually reprove them. Amen. Yes. Mother, you know good and well that you're supposed to have your head covering on. Hallelujah. Mother, Father, you know the church start at this time here. Absolutely. Mother, Father, whatever the case may be. Amen. Long as you ain't disrespecting her. Right. But I would say that my father and my mother never gave me a reason. You heard my testimony. And I said I was always looking for something. Oh, yeah. Waiting. I went bald weight. <laughs> so I didn't get a little gray in my beard weight. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> yes. Because they were serious about this thing. Oh yeah. And Hallelujah. still serious. Yeah. Yeah. But if your mother and your father is lifting up a standing, if your mother and father is not lifting up a standing, they're instructing you to do something that is right, you should obey. That's right. Children. Obey your parents. Children, obey your parents. In the Lord. In the Lord. For this is right. He said, for this is right. Honor thy father and for, for mother. For this is right. Uh, Here it is, Kenny. For this is right. There he is. Keep lifting up a standard. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Something that mother and father is doing that's calling you to lift up a standard at the school. Yeah. Esaias, yeah. Chris Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Something that the parents are doing. For y'all to come up here and give a testimony like this. Amen. Yes, Father. Right. Yes, sir, read it. Honor thy father and mother. He said, honor thy father and thy mother. Uh -huh. Which is the first commandment with the promise. Which is the first commandment with promise. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I begin, I said I begin to reflect because I, I cry and I saw the moments and the areas in my life yeah. where I didn't honor them. Yeah. I saw where I was ugly. I was bitter. Yeah. Amen. I go even deeper than that. You that call the mother and father. Right. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Yes. Find yourself not honoring them in a certain way. Amen. Hallelujah. All the love that they've shown over the years and the sacrifices. Amen. They don't want to see them as a mother and a father. Amen. That's true. But you show honor. And so I have to ask y'all, I said, thank you, Lord, for, for just being patient with me. Thank you for your grace. Allow me to be able to redeem that time. That's why it don't bother me. See, when this thing changes you, you're a He said he was real tight at one time, right? He ain't the only one. I was tight. Do what I do. I want to do what I want to do with my money. If the old Harvey, the mentality that I had when I first got out, and with my father, my father, my mother living with me right now, not the other way around. You saw how I was when I was living with them. Now they're living with me. Can you imagine? You know, Dad, I know that here's a check you work for, but I got to deduct. All right. Yeah, utility, yep. You know the baby Lee say you a couch potato. Okay, then water bill. You, mama's washing your clothes and, and hers. Water bill, water bill. But I honor my mother and my father. I said, as long as they are here, yes. I, said, I don't want y'all to pay for nothing. Hallelujah. That's my wife. When she showed me the electric, that's I don't want to see it. That's right. I don't want to see it. Shaping her to be a certain way. I don't want you to see it. I just want you to see it and pay it. That's how I want you to see it. See it and pay. That's right. Because I'm trying to make up the time. Yes. Showing that honor where it was lacking at one time in my life. Amen. Yes. That's how you honor. 
Hallelujah. Whatever your parents ask of you, whatever they, they need. What do you think I, I also married my wife? Yes. Hallelujah. My father broke that down. He said, son, all part of honor is also considering yes. the yes. one that your father and mother may want you to marry. Yes. That's very true. Yeah. Hmm? Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Giving in marriage. Amen. So I said three strikes, I'm out. <laughs> My nose was up to two sisters that, that wasn't here before she came. Yeah. I was smelling myself too much. <laughs> That's why some of us are here. We smell ourselves too much. And you can't smell what the spirit is cooking up for you. <laughs> but everybody else can smell it, you stink. <laughs> yeah, you smell filthy. Hallelujah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. That, that, the fleshly part did want to wear my wife. Yeah. Huh? But I want to seek that spiritual counsel. Yeah. Yes. The spiritual counsel. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. They said, yes, yeah, son. So the destiny will make you a good wife. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? So I made her my wife. Yeah. In prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, he liked that part. <laughs> Yes, sir. Read it, Brother Will. Honor thy father and mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. Which is the first commandment with promise. Which is the first commandment with promise. That it may be well with thee. Come on now. And thou mayest live long on the earth. Uh huh. And ye fathers, provoke not your children hey, to wrath. Here we go. Parents. This is why I want to get down to, but I have to deal with the children. We're going to have some rebellious children. Hallelujah, huh? But don't you know that parents, you have a big influence on them? Why do you think I had to share, illustrate the story when I was younger? Yeah. And what my mother and my father did. Amen. Help shape, mold. Hallelujah. Right. Anybody say, yeah, that boy just like his father. They, it's because he shaped me. Right. Yeah. yeah. My mother they, uh, 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 was involved in our lives. Naturally and most importantly, spiritually so. Amen. Yes. Amen. So he said, now, fathers... Provoke not your children to wrath. I'm going to replace fathers with parents. Amen. Amen. Parents. Amen. Provoke not your children to Provoke wrath. Provoke not your children unto wrath. But bring them up. Provoke not your children unto wrath. Amen. Yes. Yes. Don't you know there ain't any mother and father here that does not line up to the teaching here that you're provoking your children to yes. some form? Amen. Oh, yes. Yes, yes Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes. I don't make my child, man. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You're provoking them some way. Yes. Some form, some fashion. Amen. The Bible says that we should provoke unto love. That's right. Because when you do the right thing, it 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 it, it encourages others yes. to do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. My father, he laid his life down. And provoked me and my sister and my brother. Yes. At the time, hallelujah. Right. He got older. He did what he did. He's gone. Yes. yes. But his every move was for us to do the right thing. Yes. He provoked us to, to give songs and testimonies. Oh, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. I don't understand some of you parents yeah. that don't have no influence on your children. Yes. To participate in the things that the Spirit is calling, not only them, but you in. That's right. I had to deal, I talked talk to Brother Lee the other day. Hallelujah. And I asked him, I said, Where is your son? Hallelujah. Amen, huh? He said, He's at home. I said, Why is he at home? Is he sick? He said, No, sir. As a father, you want to provoke son, you get dressed. Yeah. Uh, come on, I know your mother's sick, but you get dressed. Yeah. And you come on to church with me. I said, get dressed, boy. Yeah. Put your clothes on. Put your suit on, boy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now you're using authority. Yeah. Yes. I thought the Bible said provoke not unto wrath. Yeah. <laughs> now you mishandle the word of God deceitfully. Yes. Now you start something, you're going to make me mad. Yeah. Don't try to save your kids hmm? from that kind of discipline. My father, they always did the right thing. That's right. Always inquired. Yeah. You heard the testimony that I shared. Uh, my father out there in love, he reached out to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> he yes. called my sister. Yes, he did. I'm telling you, I, I was what, 30, 38, maybe? 39? Maybe last year, 39? <laughs> Whatever. Something. Yes, sir. It was last year, I believe. He reached out to me, he reached out to my, 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 my sister. 
Uh, he reached out to Sister Justine. He reached out to my mother. Uh, why are you in, ch in church? Uh -huh. So why aren't you at church? Amen. Said, I'm here. I'm, I'm working. He said, you better hope that is that that is the case. That's what he said. Amen. Amen. I had the question, am I working? <laughs> Oh, that dude say like spirit dream. Yeah. Definitely double check yourself. Yeah. Because the Bible says they're not walking in craftiness. Yeah. You can be so crafty, hallelujah, that you'll deceive yourself. Yeah. That's why John said, deceive not your own self. Be a doer of the word and not like not a hearer only. Deceiving your own self. Because you would come in here and you think you're doing exactly what the Spirit told you to do. Yes. I'm just, I'm just loving my wife. I'm just loving my husband. I'm putting in 200%. Right. Always at home. Yeah. Always sick. Yes. Always late. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, huh? Yes. Say to come along. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Yahweh, he will send you a strong delusion that you will believe a lie. Hallelujah. That's why if you ain't right, see, it takes the word to correct us. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Yeah. The word point out the correction in your life. Yes, Lord. And you follow it. Because if you try to just examine your own self without the gospel, you won't correct yourself. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. You know how many times I've sat in the house of Yahweh and I deceive myself? Oh, yes. Now that, that ain't me. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord. Now that, that ain't me. Uh-huh. Now that, that's not me. Hallelujah. Yeah, we deny when we don't want to change. That's why they call it denial. They got, it's so bad, they got to they gotta get you with a group of people. Those group of people are so messed up like you. Amen? They so messed up like you, but guess what? They can see you. Yeah. They can see you. Everybody but themselves. Everybody but themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, That's why you can pass about here. What's well, a great cloud, a, a cloud of witnesses here? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the church will help you see you. Yes. You open up your eyes. We're like, wow, that, that brother's just like me. And yeah. But yet they're victorious. Yeah. Right. But yet they're different. Right. Hmm. Right. What made them different? You talk to them. How they do it. How they do it. Yeah. Then you, you take the same teaching that they receive yeah. and implement it in your own life. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we have one mixed faith, the other one doesn't. Yeah. One word gave right. himself. That's right. So he said, and you you parents. And you parents. And you parents. Provoke not your children to wrath. Provoke not your children unto wrath. Yeah. But bring them up in the nature. Huh? I'm telling you, many parents provoke our children to do the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. If you don't lift up a standard strong enough, being yes. that example, I promise you. I promise you. Yes. I promise you. I promise you. Yeah, Lord. I promise you. Yes. That your children is going to do the wrong thing. Yeah. They're going to feel justified. Okay. They're going to feel justified. Yeah. Because whatever they tend to do, they're going to look at you. Yeah. They see you miss church. Oh, yeah. They don't feel justified to miss church. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Apostle Hurley. And if they do the right thing, they'll know that you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Through the spirit of Yahweh. Because they have these other grown-ups to look to instead of you, and that hurts the most. See, the children in here, they're not fools. <laughs> Listen to them testify. Amen. Hmm? Those of you that showed up to that, 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 that Friday night program, you heard some of the testimonies, and then Saturday you heard some of the testimonies, they're not fools. They know what the teaching is in here. You heard some of them say they wanted to shut down Sister Madison. She wanted to, but she stood up. Yeah. Yeah. She learned that I can't be ashamed of the gospel. Yeah. If I'm ashamed of him, the Bible says he shall be ashamed of me. Yeah. yeah. The least among us can judge these matters. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes. So if you're not lifting up a standard enough in your house, yes. you're not helping your children. Hallelujah. So I shared with Brother Lee, I said, remember, 
We say that a man's house is no stronger than a man that's sinning. Right. Hallelujah. You can't be blind to the state of being a father. Right. Yes. You definitely can't be blind to the state of being a brother because a father, they'll act like this. Yes. A father, they can care less. Right. But you want you, but you are a brother. Yeah. Which means that you are a, 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 supposed to be a living witness of this. Amen. You add this to your fatherhood. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You add this to your motherhood. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. Brother or sister, you add this to you uh, 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 being a sibling. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has an impact. Amen. Yeah. It has a big impact. Yes. And it's proof. Yes, right. Because there's, apparently y'all are doing something for him to testify. That was in his words. Yes. But the Spirit wants you to come up higher. Yes. The Spirit wants us all to yes. come up higher. Yes. Come up. Quit being stagnant in the faith. Yes. Yeah, quit serving him according to a feeling. Yes. And serve him according to truth. Yes. Yes. So he said, fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. Provoke not your children unto wrath. But bring them up. But bring them up. In the nurture. You want to bring them up. You want to raise them up. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. You want to bring them up. You want to raise them up. Yes. Right? Yes. And what yes, they are? Lord. In the nurture. In the nurture. Because I'm telling you, the, the, the word of the Lord is going to take care of you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Word of the Lord is going to take care of them. It's going to nurture them. It's going to give them the very nutrition that they need. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you consider me to be strong today, right. it's because of what my father, my mother fed me. They nurtured me with the word. Yes. Hallelujah, huh? You know what? A baby, I see that young one there, Adelaide. Bring her here. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahweh. Little Adelaide. <coughs> you just can't feed this child anything. No, you cannot. As much as he may want it. <laughs> as much as she may want it, you can't feed this child just anything. As her mother, she has to nurture this child. That's right. Give her the supplements and all of that. Other than that, you're going to poison her. Mother and father going to poison her. I look around some of these children. I look at some parents full of poison. Yes. It's the ways. Hallelujah. It's the ways, huh? Paul, what he shared unto a bar, a Jonas, he said, Will you not cease from perverting the righteous ways of God? It was something that that man was doing that was corrupting that which the Lord was trying to establish with the deputy. Yes. So when you mothers and fathers refuse to do the right thing, I, I, and, brought, and it brings me to this mindset. I think about when those, uh, uh, thank you, I want to keep holding you. Keep holding you up here. But I, I'm thinking about when uh, um, when the people brought the children unto Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. Yep. Those that was doing it, they had good intentions. They said, so this is the Messiah. Absolutely. This is the Messiah. Let's bring the children. Let's bring the children to the Lord. Right. So that when he can do what? So he can lay hands on them and pray for them. Yeah. What did the disciples do? Rebuke them. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Trying to hold them back. Yeah. You know, you parents, you don't do the right thing. That's like you rebuking. Yeah. Holding back. Yes. Yeah. You holding back the blessings. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You holding back the blessings. Amen. My mother, my father, they made it their sole purpose in life to see to it that their kids were nurtured. Yes. yes. In the righteous ways of God. That's right. That's why I'm telling you, when we got older to understand this stuff, raise your heart. When we get there, this is what I'm expecting of you. Yes. When we do it, we got it. Huh? We got it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, see, I show he want this. Yeah. Hallelujah. So he said, 
Uh, suffer the little ones to come unto me. Yeah. Yeah. Suffer little children to come unto me. Forbid, forbid them not to come unto me. He said, for such is the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You mothers and fathers, y'all not involved in the kids, in the kids like the way that you should. Yeah. You're not lifting up a standard enough. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We have stronger kids in here. Yeah. They don't have, we didn't have a say so. No. That's right. We didn't have a say so. There wasn't no choice, no option. Yeah. You, you weren't afraid. We were huh? You say what there? The parents weren't afraid to hurt their kids' yes. feelings. It doesn't matter. A problem. Yes, sir. A problem. It, it, even with the feeding kids, parents today, well, baby, do you want this or do you want this right here? You you ate what they put in front of you. Yeah, you ate what was on that table. You just need more of a great on that table. Crying. Can you raise He would bribe us. He would give us more of his liquid juice so that we could eat whatever because he wasn't getting that from that table. Hallelujah, huh? Parents doing the right thing. Don't you know that your kids ain't going to get up from this table until they ate everything that the Spirit told them? Yes, no way. Hallelujah. Yes. But how will they know unless you take time? You mothers. Hallelujah. You, you take time with your children. The Bible says at home. Yes. Training them up, teaching them. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. You setting your children up for failure. Yes. Mm. These are the words of Apostle Washington. He said he feared for some of your children. Yes. Hallelujah. He said, and you gonna see. Yes. He said, you gonna see. That's right. You're going to see. Yes. Because he's not a God to be mocked. Hallelujah. He expects righteousness from us all. Yes. He expects holiness from us all. Amen. Yes. That's right. So, and you fathers. Provoke not your children Provoke to wrath. Provoke not your children to wrath. But bring them up in the nurture. He said, but bring them up in the nurture. And admonition of Bring Yahweh. them up in the nurture. And the admonition, you got to bring them up in the commandments. You got to take time with them. Yes. The admonition, the commandments, his laws, Amen. his government, his statutes. Oh, yeah. You got to take time and sit down with them. Yes. Chat on something, we don't do this. Because they may not understand. There was times when we didn't understand things. Yes. Huh? Because when you go, you go into the world, you're looking around, you see all these young people yes. doing this. Yes. You see young people doing that. All you hear at the time is we don't do this. Yeah. We don't do that. <laughs> right? Amen. Growing up in this way. Yeah. We don't do this. We don't do that. And you want to know why. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. So it's your job to take time with them. Yeah. Implement holiness. Yeah. Yeah. Explain to them what God wants of them, but you got to start young. Yeah. You got to start young. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hear that buttercup and quitting? Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, gotta take time with them little ones. Hallelujah. Should it be a, a mother shawl? Right. Amen. Doing the raising. That's right. Should it be a Walitha doing the raising? Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. Why, why, so y'all gotta come over there and pop them? Discipline them. My mama didn't need nobody. <laughs> Did. And you better get out the way because you might she become collateral you. damage. <laughs> you better get out the way because you might become collateral damage. See a brother slide to the left. <laughs> Try to the right. Two times. Cha cha now. <laughs> See this hand come. Jeremiah, you can hear my testimony when she knocked that suck out of my mouth. You get hit by the wind. She told us, I don't want y'all eating candy in the church. Yeah. <laughs> it's a contradiction. It's a contradiction, but she's going up hers right now. Here you go, Andy. Here you go, Andy. <laughs> Hallelujah, huh? I was sitting in that front row. Rachel wanted it. I beat it to the punch. Piam! That sucker flew out my mouth. It's so mercy. And I felt all eyes was on me in that front row. And it got real hot. 
It was. Yes. yes. But that's part of training. Yes. You gotta discipline them. Yes. Hallelujah, huh? They get older, you can't put hands on them no more. That's true. But you, you, you talk to them with this word here. Yes. Father will say, son, Lord disappointed in you. The Lord don't want you to be like this, son. He don't want you to. The pride of life, it goes up. It's, it's uh, 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 before destruction. I want you to be like me, son. Praise Yahweh. But some of y'all can't talk like that, huh? Right. Some of your parents can't talk like that. That's true. Mm -hmm. Say you got the child up here. Come on, Hezekiah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And all your father, be like me. Right. Be, and he's speaking true, like me. Uh-huh. If you want to be a child of God, be you like, be like you got to be like me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of your parents can't speak that. Amen. Amen. Not lifting up a standard enough. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tree is known by its fruit. Amen. See it in here. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it, Brother William. Servants. Servants. Be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh. Uh huh. With fear and trembling. <laughs> Going over to 1 Samuel. I want to stay right here. First Samuel Praise Yahweh. One and I start at the ninth verse. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. First Samuel one and nine. Let's read about this this woman of God, Hannah here. Amen. It is written. Yes, sir. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh. Now Hannah, she was one that was without child. Yes. Uh -huh. She desired one. So much that she made a vow. Yeah. Amen. Don't you know that every single one of us, even though, you know, you sisters didn't have her issue. Yeah. Right. right. The Lord had to touch her woman. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. But every single one of you that are mothers in here, yeah. the day that you conceived, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. and a child was born, yeah. a vow should have been made to be able to train and raise them children up in the way they should go. Amen. And if you did not know the Lord during that time, you came in, and yeah. despite however old they may have been, right. yes, you doing the right thing is still making that vow yeah. right. Amen. to be able right. to help them. Yes, hmm? Amen. yes, Lord. Amen. I think about Esmeralda. Yes. She, was, she wasn't born and raised in this way here. That's true. But apparently, there's something that's working for her to be coming out. Sometimes and listen, I look at her and I see the emotions on her face. Yes. A mother is not giving up hope on her children. Right. Right. Still Hallelujah. still doing, she's still lifting up a standard. Yes, she is. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The way to be able to help her children. Yeah. That's right. Mother Becky here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lifting up a standard to be able to help her children. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is when you Amen. bow to serve the Lord, yes. the Bible says you take heed unto doctrine and thyself. You do this here, now you're able to help those that will hear you. Amen. You're able to help those that's in your presence without even saying a mumbling word. Amen. Yes. And when on the job, the man looked at me and said, I perceive that you got to be a man of God. Right. I never told him that I was a prophet. Right. I never told him that I went to church. Right. But that's the way that I conducted myself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Man shared something with me the other day, and this man gave people problems over there at Trinity. He's a Jamaican guy, I believe, maybe African. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I always have an attitude. I come in a few times and all of that, and you just mad, just upset. I come in, about to get a load. And he said, I love what you are doing. He said, You gotta be a man of God. Are you a pastor? I said, No, sir, I'm a prophet. I can see it with you and your people that walk with you. Come on, I get you, Lord, did. <laughs> But when you lift up a standard, you say, I'm vowing to serve the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So, yes, I read. So Hannah rose up after they had eaten.
in, in Shiloh. Uh -huh. And after they had drunk, mm -hmm. now Elijah the priest sat upon a seat by the post of the temple of Yahweh. Read it. And she was in bitterness of soul. Uh -huh. And prayed unto Yahweh. Yes, sir. And wet sore. Yes, sir. And she bowed a vow. And she bowed a vow. And said, O Yahweh of hosts, uh -huh. if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid. Read it. And remember me. Mm -hmm. And not forget thy handmaid. Yes, sir. But will give unto thy handmaid a man child. Hallelujah, huh? See, she was able to go to the Lord with a request. Right. If she was doing the right thing. Right. Hallelujah. She know who to go to. Yes. Yeah. Things in your life you can't go to the Lord with. I, I suggest you start correcting yourself. That's right. Read it, sir. Then I will give unto then I will give him unto Yahweh. All the days of his life. Mm -hmm. And there shall no razor come upon his head. Listen to what she said. You give me this child, Yahweh. Uh -huh. Then I shall give him unto you. All the days of his life. That's what we all should be doing. You're you a mother, you a father here. Hmm? You should want your children to serve the Lord. But it's something that you got to do first. See, she was doing it first. She knew who to go to, who to talk to. Amen. Hallelujah! You 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 want you 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 have you want you want uh, hope for your children. It's something that you gotta do. Yes. To this day, my mother, my father, they're living right, walking right, hoping that through their faithfulness, that one day my brother's heart can be touched and come on back and serve the Lord. But you, on the other hand, Hallelujah, doing the uh, 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 the uh, uh, ex, uh, exact opposite of it. Amen. You're doing nothing but just hurting your children. Amen. That's right. Amen. Huh? Yes. Amen. How do you wonder why they're in cars with people they shouldn't be with? Right. Hallelujah. Going to places they ain't supposed to be at. Right. Yes, Lord. Don't want to fellowship with nobody in the church. Right. Don't want to be with people in the world. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You don't know the harm and danger. Right. That awaits in your disobedience. Right. Hallelujah. Right. She understood that Yahweh blessed me with a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you bless me because the Lord blessed, that's your child. Do you want yeah. to take him? Oh, no. oh Yahweh. No. He, he can take him back. Yes. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. He can take him back. Right. It happened. Right. Yes. Hey, Mother Brenda, hallelujah. Some of you knew it, some of you didn't. Some of you may have just probably just seen her on videos. Right. Oh. Yahweh took her only child because of disobedience. Amen. Spirit told her and Apostle Diaz to raise your child. You hear this buttercup and quit. Yes. Any yes. one of us. Hallelujah. Right. They love to pawn our children on people. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Those don't do the right thing with your child. Yes. You act like you don't care for them. Mm -hmm. right. So the Spirit decided to take them away because you don't care for them. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Spirit prophesied. Yes. It warned. Yes. It warned them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Spirit told them to put the bike up. They didn't want to listen. Spirit telling you to do certain things. Yes, your children right. need to be here. Yes. Where, where is your children? Where are you? Amen. Yes. Amen. My father had shared something with me dealing with the anniversary that he didn't like. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He shared something with me concerning the anniversary that he didn't like. Amen. Huh? Can we all, under, we all understand that what is he doing right now? Watching service. Doing the work of what? Yeah. He said, we're of the Spanish saints. Yes, Lord. Amen. He always watching. Yeah. He looked upon the young children up here. He said, Paul Malachi got to be the only young one that is not black. Amen. 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 That's not black. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Despite how you see things, yes. the yes. spirit see things differently than how you see oh, things. Yeah. Thank y'all for Sister Shaw. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Shaw came up here and looked and said, "Why it's black Spanish? Black? How did you had it set up mm -hmm. doing that program? Yes. You did it for a reason." Yes. Yes. We're trying to we're trying to reach souls. Yeah. We're trying to help those out there in the world. For those that may see this as a color thing. Yeah. Now you say why you said, I know that the saint's heart is not in you. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Yes, 
Bigger for yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Parents, provoke not your children. You don't do the right thing, you're provoking them to do something that's contrary. And you'll be held accountable for it because you are their parents. As a bishop, your blood is on our hands and we don't teach this thing. I'm to say, woe unto me if I don't preach this gospel. See, I care for you, but I don't care for you enough to, to hide this thing from you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it may sound mean, but it's full of love. Uh, because the word of God, it has to go forth to show you how messed up you are. It's, yeah, it's all not a love, but the Spirit's trying to show you how messed up you are. And how it's trying to fix you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Yahweh. Right. Amen. Yes, I read it. Read it. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. As she continued praying. As she continued praying. Before Yahweh. Uh huh. That Elijah marked her mouth. Uh huh. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Uh huh. Only her lips moved. Come on now. But her voice was not heard. Read it. Therefore Elijah thought she had been drunken. Uh huh. And Elijah said unto her. Yes, Lord. How long will I be? And Eli. Eli said unto her, uh -huh. How long would thou be drunken? Read it. Put away thy wine from thee. Come on now. And Hannah answered and said, Yes, sir. No, my lord. Uh -huh. I am a woman of a sorrowful she, spirit. She, she know what she's doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. How many of us know what we're doing? Yeah. Yes, your way. Right. She know what she's doing. Yeah. Yes, she does. How many of us know what we're doing? Right. How many of us know why we are here? That's yes, right. your way. How many of us know why we are here? Yes, Yahweh. If you're here for salvation, huh? Let your blood and I reveal this unto you. Huh? If you're here for salvation, let your blood and I reveal this unto you. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't want nothing more than what the word have to offer me. That's right. Glory. Glory to the Oaks. Hallelujah. Then I'm in. This, 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 this thing is too real. This thing is too serious. Let's finish it, brother Willie. Time got away. And Hannah answered and said, uh -huh. No, my lord. No, my lord. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. Come on now. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink. Read it. But I have poured out my soul before Yahweh. Uh huh. Count not thy handmaid for a daughter of Bela. Uh huh. For out of the abundance of my complaint Read and it. grief have I spoken here too. Yes, sir. Then, then Eli answered and said, Come on. Go in peace. And God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. Uh huh. And she said, let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. Read it. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. Uh huh. And they rose up in the morning. They early rose up early in the morning and worshipped before Yahweh. Read it. And returned. They came to the house to Ramah. Come on now. And El Elkanah mm -hmm. knew Hannah his wife. Yes. And Yahweh remembered her. Mm -hmm. Wherefore it came to pass when yes. the time was come about her. Wherefore it came to pass when the time had come about. About after Hannah now, man, had we made a vow. Yeah. Hallelujah, huh? Amen. Those yeah. of you that came to came from love of God this way. Yes. Hallelujah, huh? Yeah. Say that I'm gonna be better when I get out here. Amen. Right. Amen. Does your life attest to your words? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Husbands, whatever the case may be, say I'm gonna love my I, I, I thank Yahweh for one bishop, but he was saying, he said, I can't keep laying down that foundation. Because I make a vow and I go a, a maybe a few weeks, then I see myself kind of reverting back. He said, I don't like that feeling. Right. Hallelujah. See, it's real. You have that big talk in the beginning. Oh, yeah. yes. But when it's time for you to prove, right. when it's time for you to prove, amen, Hallelujah. Uh, that your words are true unto the Lord, yeah. are you going to stand on them? Oh, yeah. The time came now. Yeah. The Lord heard her cry. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. So she rose up early in the morning. And when it, uh, they rose up early in the morning. Wherefore it came to pass. Uh -huh. When the time was coming about after Hannah could see that she bare a son. That she bare a son. And called his the name. The child Samuel. is here now. Now what you gonna do now, Hannah? Right. Right. Huh? Right. The child is here now. What you gonna do now, Hannah? Amen. Read it. She she bare a son and uh -huh. called his name Samuel. Read it. Saying, Because I have asked him of Yahweh. What? Amen. She said, because I have asked him of Yahweh. It sounds like she's going to hold to her word. She made sure she remembered. She made sure she remembered. Now, how many of us remember? 
I don't like saying Paul, Paul told Timothy, he said, you hold fast. I need you to remember this, Timothy. Yeah. I'm not going to always be around you. That's right. I can't fight your battles for you. That's right. Huh? Many of us are strong when we around one another. Yeah. Huh? Many of us are strong when we around one another. Yeah. Yeah. These doors here. Hallelujah. Yeah. We forget what the word is said with you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You hold fast the sound words that you have heard of me. Yeah. Right. Pastor Washington, we got our teacher from him. Yes, we did. We got an ear. Use it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you got an ear. Use it. Yeah. Use it. Hold fast to sound words which you have heard of me. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, this good thing that was committed unto you. He yeah. said, and it's kept by the Holy Spirit. Yes. 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 Right. You have the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Right. right. Yeah. You receive it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hold fast to the teaching. Right. Yes. Yeah. She's holding fast of what her vow was yes. unto yes. the Lord. Amen. Read it, Brother Willie. And the man Elkanah. And all his house went up to offer unto Yahweh uh -huh. the yearly sacrifice and yeah. his vow. Yeah, I, 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 look, I know what y'all about to do. Uh -huh. Huh? I know what y'all about to do, but my word's got to stand true here. Yeah, husband, man. see, when you, when you get this thing, you ain't even going to let your husband move you. That's, right. That's right. You're not going to let your wife move you. Yeah. And you're not gonna let your children move you. That's right. You're not gonna let your parents move you. Yeah. I think I'm possible watching the share with some of these young people. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You old enough now. You're 18 now. Yeah. Don't be like them. Don't be like them. Right. You know, don't be like your father. Yeah. Don't be like your father. Right. You got your own family now. Yeah. Don't yeah. do what he did. Do what I'm doing, son. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. So true. Uh, because we all made a vow. I made a vow to the Lord. And I won't turn back. I made a vow to the Lord. And I won't turn back. I made a vow to the Lord. And I won't turn back. I made a vow to the Lord. And I won't turn back. Yeah. Hallelujah. You made a vow. Yeah, Lord. Some of them made a vow on our, almost on our deathbed. Yeah. Yes. But you think Apostle Wise got to come and, 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 and bring to remembrance where you were at one time. Right. Yes. Because you forgot how you were talking during that time. Yes. Right. Yes. Whatever the case may be, accidents, right. near death experiences. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. yes, sir. Finish it. But Hannah went not up. He said, But Hannah went not up. I'm sorry, husband. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I. I this is what I got to do. I made a vow. Read it. She said unto her husband. She said unto her husband. I will not go up. I will not go up. Until the child be weaned. Until the child be weaned. And then I will bring him. Um, because I, I, I first I got to nurture this child. Uh -huh. Right. right. Weaning, in other words, he's going to give the baby that which is natural. Right. 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 But you as mothers and fathers. Mothers and fathers. Yes. yes. Mothers and fathers. I am a father. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nurture the child. Amen. Give them the supplements. Yes, Lord. Amen. The supplements of the word. Amen. You got to put it in them. Yes. Spiritualness. Yes. My daughter's only three years old. And if she see anybody kissing on TV, she'll get up and she'll do this here to me and my wife. <laughs> no watch. No watch. <laughs> and she didn't get that from me. That's my wife yeah. that did that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> She's she going an extra mile in the area that I wasn't in. No Ellie, turn your eyes. No Ellie, no. Is she going to grow up? Yes. People are trying with pornography. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says that, that people have a spirit of lasciviousness. Yes. Yeah. Like, you know, this, this, this sex craze. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sex craze. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You heard Evangelist Tilda's testimony. He said it started young. Going oh, yeah, yeah. to his father, uh, uh, uncle's house. Eight, nine years old looking at this stuff on the wall. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it began to shake them. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she'd get all in it. That's what he needed. He didn't have that. <laughs> she said, so what she say there, Brother Willie? She said, I will not go up until the I child will not go up until that child is weaned. And then I will I gotta him. feed this child. Right. Hmm? Gotta get him past that phase. I gotta get him past this phase. Yeah. And then I gotta hmm? do my vow. Mother and father, it's your job and your duty 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. To get them past the phase, but you got to implement something in their life. Absolutely. You got to take that time out to teach them the word of God. <coughs> Train a child up in the way they should go. Yeah. Uh, train a child up in the way that they should go. Yeah. Train a child up in the way that they should go. Amen. But if you ain't doing it, how which uh which way will they know to go? That's right. That's right. Yeah, because they don't know how. That's right. Some That's of us right. are too close to our children. Way too close. However they feel, you you go with it. And it's because that's how you feel. Yeah. You never wean them. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Go ahead and finish this, sir. This ending. I will not go up until the child be weaned. Uh huh. And then I will bring him, mm -hmm. that he may appear before Yahweh. Then I will bring him, that he may appear before Yahweh, because you're preparing your child. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. they, a day gonna come. Well, they gonna have to appear before Yahweh. Yeah. Got to. A day is gonna come. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. My father, and my mother, they are serious. Yes. yes. Very serious. Hallelujah. Our father has always been serious about the state of his family. Yes. It grieves him to his heart. I used to think that he don't, he, uh, uh, he don't uh, uh, like seeing certain things with my brother. Right. right. Because he understands that a day is going to come where he's going to have to appear before y'all. Yes. Right. Yep. But he done his job. That's right. Yep. He done his job. Yes. Some of us ain't doing nothing. Finish it and let's end it here. And there abide forever. Uh-huh. And Elkanah her husband said unto her, Do what seemeth thee good. Tarry until thou have weaned him. Only Yahweh establish his word. And only Yahweh will establish his word. Amen. So Saints, let's be strong. Amen. Saints, let's do what the Spirit is calling us to do. Let's be more than what we are. Let's grow higher in this day. Amen. So that we can be ready on that faithful day when the Lord shall return. Hallelujah. At this time here, let us all rise and receive Brother Chris by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. Praise, Praise him. Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. That word was wonderful.